1968 RT Charger Part 3. Let's get into it. Okay, I just picked the spot on the uh, cooler panel has been removed, ground down a little bit. You can see quite a bit of a uh, build of body filler. And then I guess that white under it might be panel bond. And you can see uh, the cracking and more filler there. Somebody actually put this whole back half of this car onto this car at one time and just did it improperly. So, I mean, you can see here, obviously those are rust holes that somebody had panel bonded a patch on from behind on the sail panel. And that's a uh, replacement lower quarter piece. And I have no idea how it's been affixed, but you can see a lot of uh, panel bond there also. So here we go, straightening and prepping the door jam area. And nice finish out. That's ready to uh, go. And getting into the mating line on the sail panel. A lot of filler. And I stopped to kind of show you. I guess they had used JB Weld. I don't think that's approved, but uh, JB Weld on that seam there. Not a great idea. Bad situation. Here we are just cleaning it out to expose the uh, weld line. Then we're cutting right below that. Get rid of that old panel. And here we go. Just starting to scab off all of the uh, panels. And no lack of panel bond. Now here's a special area. Okay, this flange. Yeah, this flange wasn't welded. Or panel bonded. Yeah, I don't really know what to say. And more filler. Now this is in the uh, filler panel between the deck lid and the rear window and you can see the quarter panel wasn't welded either it was only panel bonded onto the wheel well lip you definitely don't want to start a restoration over work like this it's all got to come out no question yeah quite a mess getting all this uh, stuff ground out rock hard and here's why you never panel bond metal panel bond does not adhere to metal and it will always separate can't even imagine if this car was in a rear collision and here we are removing more panel bond A little time consuming but there we've got it nice and uh better it out here we go with some more uh massive amounts of body filler and we're pretty much just repeating what we had uh, shown you on the other side just going to speed it up here a little bit And it did well in the door jams, so uh, we're separating all that and, and uh, grinding that down, dressing it down, prepping it. Here I am removing the bottom of the uh, quarter panel. Speed that up a little bit for you. Yeah, I have to say all of the in, inner parts, inner structures, look really good on this car. There's some few minor spots that are going to have to be uh, addressed that are rusted. But all in all, really, really nice start to a build. Too bad we have to come in and refinish a bunch of uh, you know, bad work. But 
we're going to take care of this customer. And now moving on to the trunk. Okay, somebody had taken a one-piece trunk, cut it in half, and then installed it. So we're going to we're just going to remove that and put a one-piece trunk replacement pan in there and uh, do a really nice job. And here we are removing some parts and pieces. And we are going to use reuse these pieces. They're factory. And here we go. Uh, the plasma cutter is going to make really short work of this. And we're just taking our time. Uh, and I've already looked underneath before I mark this out so we can do a rough cut. We don't want to cut into any of the underside braces or uh, frame rail, anything like that. So this is just called a rough cut. Then we come back in and remove all of the excess or rest of the material. And then start prepping for the new panels. Here, just double checking, making sure we're not going to cut into anything we don't want to replace. And get that last little section out of there. And it's really nice to use the plasma cutter in an area where you know there isn't body filler or anything like that. Yeah, it doesn't work through too well through that. And the plan is, since we've uh, removed the quarter panels, we're going to be removing the uh, trunk. Then installing the trunk, replacing the tail light panel, and then installing the quarter panels. And here we're getting the last little bit of this out of the way. Hey, part four is in the works. As always, hey, thanks for watching.